Hi, welcome back uh, to AGU TV. We're joined now by Dr. Wen Lee, Assistant Professor in Astronomy at Boston University. Hi, Wen. Hi. So, Wen, you've just been named an honorary at AGU. I wonder if you could just tell us a little bit more about your achievements to date. Sure, it's my great honor. Uh, my research focuses on the dynamics of the Earth uh, radiation belts, uh, which is located from 1,000 uh, 1, km to the 60,000 km from above the Earth's surface. And this region consists of a highly energetic electrons, which are also called as a killer electrons, since their strong radiation can potentially damage the critical electronics uh, of the satellites and or cause the hazard for the astronauts in space. Wow, so that's really fundamental work to, to, to the field of space science. Can you tell us a little bit about what inspired you to become a geoscientist in the first place? Sure. So when uh, I look at the sky as a child, I was always curious about what's going on in the space, uh, which we, I thought we'd never uh, reach uh, at that time. And then one day I saw in TV that uh, people sent the man-made satellites into space, and I was so amazed by the fact that they can control the uh, satellite's motion so accurately and make interesting observations. Wow. And then I started to uh, be curious about what the satellite data can tell us about the space. Mm. So I decided to choose the major in space physics and learn more about it. Oh great, and we're all grateful that you did as well, and that's why you got the honoree. I was just wondering as well, if you could give um, some advice to some early career geoscientists about some tips they could do to, you know, to be as successful as you in the future, Wanli. Sure. Um, one important thing I think is that it's very important to choose a field or research topic they are interested in because they need to enjoy the job which they will probably be doing as a lifetime career, right? <laughs> and um, another thing is that once they choose the topic or research field, they really need to be determined and devote their time and efforts to it because making a new scientific discovery is not an easy process. It needs a time, efforts, and also great patience as well. Fantastic. And um, maybe uh, I can also think of some things they sh probably should avoid. <laughs> yeah, so um, one thing I would like to say is uh, uh, they shouldn't be afraid of asking questions because mm. any question has their own value, especially since science is uh, curiosity driven. So um, asking questions to themselves or to others will help them mm. to uh, uh, explore or solve unknown problems. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much, Wen Lee. So thank you very much to Dr. Wen Lee from Boston University. I'm Sam Ellingworth reporting with AGU TV at the AGU Fall Meeting here in New Orleans.